All right, everyone. So what we have here is a little bit different for a video today. This is more of like my everyday carry because quite frankly, my everyday carry doesn't really get more complex than this. Typically, I will have my wallet and my keys in my pocket and maybe a pen as well. And uh, in this case, I was looking for a new wallet. I had one from another brand that was like, you know, another kind of like slim wallet. But basically um, I was having a lot of issues with it. It was like falling apart and I've had it for like less than a year. I was on the hunt for a new wallet and conveniently, Exter decided to email me and say, hey, do you wanna try out some of our new products? I was like, absolutely, go ahead and send them over. So they sent over not only one wallet, this is the one that I was mostly interested in myself, but they sent over two others as well as their key case. And uh, this is just gonna be my quick review and opinions on all of these products that they sent me over. Huge shout out to them for sending them over because they are very good and I have been enjoying them, but I do have a little bit of a critiquing that I want to give you guys and them, just so you're aware if you are gonna buy one of these products right now, and also so that in the future they can add some improvements to these products. Just under a year ago, I actually lost my wallet for like most of a day and it was pretty terrifying. So I definitely uh, wanted to find like the best AirTag solution to find my wallet in case that was ever to happen because obviously you don't realize it as it's happening, but you know, 45 minutes later, you're like, hmm, where'd my wallet go? So that's why having this AirTag capability was super important to me. I've been using the Metal Slim Wallet and more or less what makes extra wallet special is that right here you have this little button that pops out your cards and you can actually put in here up to six cards. I found that the sweet spot, depending on if you have like a couple metal cards or something is really like four to five cards. Six cards is a little tight, but you can still do it, but it is quite nice and it works very well. And it is also really consistent. But basically when you have the full six cards inside of your wallet, the last two will kind of get stuck together. So you'll kind of have to pull them out like both of them at the same time. And it just kind of takes a little bit more time. So I would definitely say that if you want to have the best amount of cards in there so that you can have easiest accessibility, I would say definitely use five cards instead of six. Now this one is their aluminum card holder. You can use this little rubber band area to put cash on the back of the wallet. And then you also have uh, this extra area where you can put another card in the front of the wallet, which, which I don't really use to put another card that I need to use as far as payment is concerned. But I do use their extra uh, tracker card that does make some noise as well. Uh, this is from Chipolo. So it works very similarly to how fine my iPhone, uh, those like apps and everything works kind of similar to the AirTag as well. But basically you download the Chipolo app, you set up your card and the tracking actually works really well. And this is actually recharged by solar energy as well. So you can leave this in your window for a couple of hours or something. And then you're pretty much good to go for the next probably couple of months when it comes to battery life. So highly do recommend uh, getting this with your order as well. It was fairly cheap. Now, if you don't need the tracker card, you can always just use the AirTag holder, of course, but I always thought that, you know, in case my AirTag died and I wasn't paying attention or something, even though they give you a lot of annoying notifications, just to make sure that you replace the battery in this pretty regularly. It's kind of good to have two trackers instead of one. But really the primary reason why I was actually using this uh, tracker card is just because I thought this rubber band was just a little bit more loose than I would have liked. So adding this additional card in there definitely made it seem like my AirTag would be a lot more secure on the wallet and a lot less apt to fall off. More or less, I would like them to make the rubber band a little bit smaller just so that this AirTag holder and additional card holder fits a bit more snugly on the aluminum card holder. But overall, as far as build quality, this thing is very, very good. I will give it an eight out of 10. The aluminum is very nice. I have like very minimal scratches, if any on here, like the uh, money clip is been scratching a little bit more, but the actual wallet itself, I've been using this for almost three weeks now and I do not have a single scratch on it. So durability wise, it's doing really well. Next, we are gonna move on to the Parliament wallet. This is the one with the AirTag holder. I don't really like how much the AirTag sticks out. I wish that there is a way to integrate the, integrate the AirTag a little bit more so that uh, you know it wouldn't stick out. But honestly, it's not really their fault. This is more of a problem with Apple's design. But um, yeah, so the Parliament wallet with the AirTag holder, I'm not the biggest fan of it because it's already kind of thick. And I feel like the point of these is to kind of get away from the thicker wallets. So I 
would probably recommend, honestly, just going with the Chipolo tracker and going with the standard Parliament wallet because the standard Parliament wallet, you put your tracker on this side, then you have a little bit more space for other cards. So you can add two cards in here. You got a money clip on the inside of your wallet after it folds, so it's a little bit more secure. And then of course you have the same technology where you can pop all of your cards out as well. So this I feel like combines the convenience of the aluminum card holder, not really trading off too much thickness. Like it is thicker, of course, but really not by much. And you have a bit more security as well as functionality by being able to have a couple extra cards. Like if you don't really need to readily access like your ID or your passport card or something like that, I would put those in this pocket because you're not gonna be pulling them out that often. And then, you know, whatever credit cards and rewards cards you use, go ahead and pop those in here for easy access. So I do like the Parliament wallet the best. And I'm probably gonna be using this one with the Chipolo tracker is what I'm gonna to switch to next just to decide uh, finally if I like this one more than the aluminum card holder. But something is telling me I'm probably gonna go back to the aluminum card holder anyway, so we'll see. Last thing to go over from Exter, this is just their key holder. And don't get me wrong, guys, I like this quite a bit. Like they did a really good job designing this as far as aesthetics and the leather quality. It really hasn't worn hardly at all. The finish on the painted screws has not really worn or got scratched at all in the past almost three weeks that I've been using this. And then uh, this Part right here where you attach your key ring is also very nice too. Like it's not too wide, not too slim and very easy to get your key ring around. And this also moves around a bit too. So if it moves around a bit in your pocket, it doesn't really bother you at all. My problem is on their website, it states that this is able to hold between three to eight keys. Personally, I only try to put three keys on here that, you know, are standard thickness, I would say. This is not that accurate like two keys i would say is the max like two keys regular thickness i mean maybe you could put like eight of those luggage lock uh keys like those really tiny skinny ones you could put eight of those probably on one of here but um quite honestly i wish that the bar in the middle that actually holds onto the keys was a bit wider so i could fit like maybe two more keys on this that are standard size otherwise when i overloaded it a, it didn't really want to close and when I took out an extra and when I took out a key just to help close it a bit more, they didn't really spin very freely either. So, you know, it didn't really give me a very secure feeling that this thing was going to be built to last and stay in my pocket. The build quality of it when you're using it in its ideal configuration, which I'll say is two regular size keys is very good. But otherwise, when you overload it, which is very easy to do, I don't really think that, uh, you know, this is really worth the hassle. I like the fact that my keys in my pocket are no longer like jingling together and making a lot of noise. But outside of that, I do wish that it could hold like three or four keys. And this part was just a little bit wider. The key holder by itself is $45. So I do think that that's kind of pricey for something that I don't really think works that well. But if you bundle the wallet and the key holder at the time of recording, the key holder is on sale for $36. And if you bundle it together, it's like a hundred bucks. So I would say that for the hundred dollars bundling a wallet with the key holder is worth it for now. If you know you can save simplified down to about two to three keys max. But otherwise, if you need more than three keys that you're gonna be able to fit in here easily, I would just say honestly opt for the wallet itself. As far as pricing on these products, the aluminum card holder starts at $72. You can add the AirTag for about $88. The Parliament wallet starts at $72 as well. And the wallet with the AirTag is also $88. So I would say that for these high-end wallets, which is what I would definitely call them, I do think that these are very reasonably priced. Just wanna give you guys a quick thank you for watching this video. I was on the hunt for a new wallet and Exter just happened to email me at the opportune time. I literally was looking at their website like two days before they emailed me, which was just crazy because I didn't put any of my information in, like I didn't put it in my email or anything either. So it's not like I was like trying to be like reached out to be contacted, but it just happened to work out. And I'm glad I was able to try their products because I definitely believe in these products. One last thing I'll let you guys know about is actually my favorite pen. This is just a pen from the company called Tool, T-U-L. Um, I got this pen on Amazon 
Amazon is like 15 bucks, or you can even get like a pack of other pens for around 20. So I think there's eight pens that come in a pack of these. And then there's one pen for like 15 bucks or 20 bucks that comes with this one. This one's a little bit thicker, completely aluminum shaft, pause, pause, <laughs> resume. And, and then this one is, you know, your plastic with your um, rubberized grip. Both of them are very nice, but I just try to like buy one of these nicer ones and hold on to it for as long as I can. It comes with ink refills as well. I have not managed to use an entire uh, version of this pen before losing it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know. This is just my favorite pen. Like it writes so smooth. Where's my note? I don't know. I just love like how smooth the gel of this pen writes. Like it just feels very satisfying to use. Anyways, uh, ignore my chicken scratch. And one last thing just to complete my everyday carry is just my iPhone 14 Pro. This is the standard one. Quite honestly, guys, the battery life has been getting worse like the entire year. I noticed that it was bad like when I first got the phone. I was like, wow, like compared to the uh, iPhone 13 Pro that I had at the time, it uh, honestly struggled quite a bit. I know there's like stuff that's like blurred out on my uh, screen pretty much just because I use like a different wallpaper and whatnot, but it is personal. But outside of that, um, the iPhone 14 Pro, don't get me wrong, very good phone. Obviously the camera is fantastic. It's quite fast not very glitchy it's pretty consistent the only bad thing i have to say about the iphone 14 pro is just the battery life on the standard size i don't have the pro max just because i thought that just too huge of a phone to carry around last max phone i had was a 12 pro max and it was just huge. I might get the Max next time. We'll see how I'm feeling in like a month when the new iPhones come out. I like everything about the phone except for the battery life pretty much. Cause let's see here. If I go to my settings and uh, battery health is at like 91% at this point And it's been less than a year. Like I've only had this phone for about 10 months. I think I got it like beginning or so of October and it's August now. So for the drop 9% in one year, it's kind of crazy because I actually sold my last iPhone after having it for 13 or 14 months. I sold my old iPhone with about 94% of battery capacity. So, and that one, the 13 Pro, I didn't think had that great of battery life either. Like it was better than the 14 Pro, but not better than the uh, 11 Pro, which was the last standard size iPhone that I had before that I thought had like fantastic battery life. The 11 Pro, I could go a really long time without recharging it. Uh, basically like my entire work day, I could go without recharging it. But now with the 14 Pro, my usage hasn't really changed that much, but the battery life is significantly worse. Outside of the battery life, this is my case from car.com. More or less, they make really cool live edge wood plus resin phone cases. And they're all one of one. They make more than just phone cases too. Like I actually have a, a knife. This is a Damascus knife. You guys might've seen it on my Twitter or my Instagram, but basically same thing going on with the wood and resin combo. And then they also have like this Damascus print on the blade. I don't know the exact manufacturing process that they use for that, but guys, they did an absolutely fantastic job for a pocket knife. I mean, it's a little bit on the pricier side because you know, this is like handmade stuff, but 100% worth it if you want a cool pocket knife or if you want a really cool phone case. I don't carry the knife with me every day, so this isn't really included in my everyday carry. More of a shout out to them. But basically, uh, really impressed with the quality of everything I've gotten from Card. Next time I might get like the full case where like the actual case is uh, the wood and resin, but I just thought that this would be a little bit more protective, but we'll see how I'm feeling next time. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in the next video.